Hey guys, today we're going to tape for generalized knee pain in the front of the knee. If you've had a history of uh, kneecap issues, they're called patellar issues, anything like that, this would kind of be a good tape job if you're having some discomfort to help with that. So what we're going to start with are some pre-cut pieces of Kinesio tape, tape, KT tape, whatever you want to call them. There's so many different brands. I feel like they kind of work the same. It just depends on you and what your body adapts to easy. So we're going to start off with a piece of tape and we're going to cut it down the middle. So I've already done this one. So we're looking at just a black piece of Kinesio tape and all I did was cut it down the middle. On the back of this piece, you can see that there's already lines drawn. So what I did was went to about the second line. It really doesn't matter. You don't have to be exact on your measurements. The hard part's gonna be where to put it. So if you're looking at your knee, what you're looking for, and I'm gonna draw on mine so you can kind of see and it's easier for you. What I wanna find is where my kneecap is. So I'm gonna show you here with me that this is my kneecap. As you can see the line and all I'm going to do because I can feel where the bone is and then I go oh here's the bottom of it and I'm going to pop off and go there's no bone there there's kind of a divot but if I go down a little bit further I feel bone again so that's going to be where your patellar ligament is and all we're going to do is go below it and go okay there's a bone right there so here's my big bone at the bottom that's where we're going to anchor it if you're off a little bit it doesn't matter you just want to find that general area so now that we've kind of found where we're going to put the tape we're gonna put our knee in just a little bit of a bend. You don't want it too much and you don't want it flat. You just want a little bit of a bend in it. You're gonna take that piece of kinesio tape that you've already cut and you're going to break it. You're gonna break the paper on the back side just like that. So each of the little, I call it tentacles on this little jellyfish are free. You're gonna peel back the tape on the top piece. Try not to touch it if you can help it. And then all we're gonna do is with the tentacles up, we're going to lay it down. We're going to put the head of the jellyfish on the leg, right, right on or right below where my little mark was. So here's my kneecap, and I'm coming right below it to that bone, and right on top of that bone is that head of that jellyfish. Now, when I put it on, i got to make sure I rub it. Friction helps that adhesive stick a little bit better. And then I'm going to take one piece of that jelly head, jellyfish uh, tentacle, and I'm going to peel back the paper on it. You're just peeling back the paper. Again, try not to touch it, so that's why I'm using the paper. And I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pull it up and around the outside of the kneecap. So again, you're gonna go ahead and pull the tape pretty good. I'm pulling it about 50 to 60% of what I could. Here's max pull, so I'm gonna back off here. And then as I pull, I'm gonna guide it with my other hand to go around that kneecap and then lay it down. Doesn't matter really where you lay it down on the piece. If you have a long tentacle, it's gonna go further. All we really care about is that you've got some pull coming around the outside of that kneecap. And you can kind of see how it pulled up and across. You could even pull up and all the way up here if you wanted to. Remember that part doesn't matter. The second tentacle, what you're gonna do, again, we're gonna pull the paper just like we did on that one. And we're gonna go again for that 50 to 60% pull. And we're gonna come along the inside of the kneecap. You can see I'm going right along that line there. And then I'm just going to pull that piece straight up. So now you can see I've got some weird markings on my knee. And as long as you have the pull going from low to high up towards your thigh and around each side of that kneecap, you've done the job on this piece. Now that should still feel pretty good on your knee if you want a little bit extra support. What I've found that if I take another piece of kinesio tape and I'm doing pink just so you can see the difference. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. You don't have to be precise on your measurements, but remember we don't like edges that are sharp like a box. So what we're gonna do is just round them. It'll help the tape stick. I'm gonna take my piece of tape. I'm gonna fold a little bit at the end and then I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna take this piece off. That's gonna be my anchor piece. And I'm gonna find where my kneecap is again. And I'm just gonna kind of go off to the side. You don't have to be precise. So my kneecap is here to here. And what I'm gonna do is come off to the side, half on that black tape, and I'm just gonna put it right there. Again, you don't have to be precise. It's more just making sure that we're pulling in the right direction. And then I'm gonna take that tape, try not to touch it. And as I pull this paper off, I kind of hold that piece down there so it doesn't come up. And then I'm gonna hold with my hand the bottom piece of the tape. I'm gonna pull up at a good 50 to 60, maybe even 70% pull. And I'm pulling up and across, and then I'm gonna lay it down. 
knees in slight flexion just like it was before and I'm pulling up and across and as you can see that's what it's going to look like you're going to pull from outside up and inward if you really like the feel of that I usually stop at this point but if you want to get really fancy you can take that other little piece that you cut and let's use it for something so you're, again you're going to break it at the end you're making your anchor this time we're going to go in the inside same thing, inside, half over, that same kind of level as the other piece of tape so you can see. And then I'm gonna pull, holding my anchor down on the tape. I'm gonna pull again at that 50 to 60%. I'm gonna pull up and a little bit across. On this inside piece, you really don't wanna cross over towards the outside too much. You want mainly a upward motion with a little bit of inward motion, but that's what it should look like when you get done. And if you've done it right, your knee might have what I call a little bit of a chicken skin in there. It might bubble up, but when you're walking around and moving, it should feel really good for you. You guys have a fabulous day.